What's up guys, Brandon Wilson here back again for episode two of interviewing student founders who currently have their own business. I'm here with Brie Wallstrom, who currently has her own business called What If. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So explain how you came up with your business name and what does it stand for? So What If stands for endless possibilities, so like endless jewelry design possibilities. And then I've always been in love with philosophy as well as my dad. And he just always asked the question, what if growing up? And it just really stuck with me. I even tattooed it on my finger a couple of years ago. I just, I love it. It, yeah, it could just go with everything. And how did you get into jewelry and what made you want to start a jewelry business? So my high school teacher um, actually helped me get some tools during COVID and I got laid off from my job. So I just used all my unemployment money to buy silver and tools and I just practiced all of COVID. I think I've just always been in love with jewelry, but I couldn't actually afford it myself. So I started making it and still can't really afford it myself, but it's just a really fun creative outlet that I can wear all the time and I can always change it and it's just, it's really fun. And where can people buy your jewelry? Um, so in Salt Lake, I sell in Vantage, Abyss, Dancing Cranes, and Atelier, and then online at whatif47.com. And what would you say is the hardest part about starting a business? Um, just realizing how much time it actually takes. I feel like a lot of people think businesses aren't that hard, but it really consumes my life and just trying to figure out how to do everything. And like, I don't have a mentor or anything, just trying to figure out. And last and final question, what separates your jewelry business from everybody else and why should they buy from you? Um, I try and recycle all the silver I get and I um, responsibly source my stones. I know the artists that shape the stones personally. Um, and I really try and make each piece one of a kind. So you're not walking down the street and you have the same jewelry piece as someone else. Perfect, thank you, Brie. Of course. Peace.